So we mentioned the city of Wiley and Collin County got the brunt of last night's storms. And today we are seeing just how much damage was done truly in a matter of minutes. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is in Wiley tonight with a closer look at all the damage. Alex. Hey guys, about 90% of the homes in this neighborhood were heavily damaged by that relentless hail and countless cars look just like this one. But right now, really the focus for folks here in this neighborhood is to get the roofs covered before some more of that rain comes through. This is the side that the hail came into. Uh, there's softball size hails went all the way through the shingle, the tar paper, the OSB plywood and uh, came through the drywall and came to land here in the couch. Sadly, Jeff Hobbs' story is a familiar one on Harvest Bend Drive, where hail the size of softballs hit a couple of home runs through the neighborhood. Yeah, that's about inch and a half. The relentless hail left dent marks in the brick siding of Joel McCune's home. He snapped this photograph of daughter Ella Grace holding one of the ice cold culprits. It's easy to see all of the damage done to the roofs, but one thing that stood out to me were all of the holes we see in the ground. This is caused by the velocity of all of that hail. Some of that hail came through the sunroof of Pastor Roy McCleary's pickup truck as he was headed home from the store. Yeah, it almost killed me. Cleary suffered several cuts to his head and face and had to get a couple of stitches. I was coming from Walmart and I got about halfway and it started coming down and there's nothing I could do. And neither could first responders. Some 25 police cars were damaged by the hail and inside the public safety complex. Well, let's just say it's a wet mess. The ceiling tiles just absorb so much water that they, they just collapse down from the ceiling and that's why you see the missing ceiling tiles. And as we come back out here live, you can see some of the more damage that's done here to this neighborhood. A lot of the homes here covered in that standard blue tarp. As for that public safety complex, I can tell you that it had to be temporarily shut down. So that means for right now, municipal court, fire administration, and even the police department are going to have to be temporarily housed in City Hall. Reporting live in Wiley, I'm Alex Boyer. Heather and Steve, let's send it back to you. All right, Alex, so much work to do, but thank you.